More about a three year old girl rushed to the hospital after a rattlesnake bite. Cal Fire said it happened around 10 last night on Honey Run Road east of Chico. Alice Germar is recovering in the hospital after the snake bit her. And mom Tia says her daughter first went to Enlo but is now at UC Davis in Sacramento receiving care. She says the snake bit Alice when she was taking the trash out barefoot. She was in a lot of pain. Um, for a little bit, it was hard for her to calm down. I think she was just kind of confused and didn't really know what was happening. Um, and But um, they gave her some antivenin and some pain medication, and she's doing a lot better now. And the swelling is down, and, um, yeah, she's getting good care, and everyone's taking care of her. And so, yeah, she's enjoying. She's had, I think, four popsicles now. So... <laughs> Tia says her daughter received antivenin at the hospital and her swelling went down. She says Alice is in good spirits and will wear shoes outside from now on. Action News Network reporter Ryan Ketchum has spent the day learning everything he can about rattlesnake danger. He's live at animal. He's live out there in Chico. Ryan, what do we do if maybe we see one in our yard or if we get bit? Just go the opposite direction, Haley. Literally, just look at the snake, turn around, and walk away from it, just as I'm doing to the camera right now. I spoke with several snake experts today who actually tell me that rattlesnakes don't want to bite you. They will, though, if they feel scared or trapped. You might also not be able to hear them as well as you may think. Tyler Young from Placer Snake Removal says you should check your surroundings and not just rely on hearing their rattle. He says rattlesnakes will rattle usually after it's poked or messed with. Now, when it comes to getting bitten by one, he says the best thing to do is nothing. Just control your breathing and call 911. If you do get bit, you don't need to tie off the limb. Don't ice it. Don't try to suck out the venom. It's all a waste of time. And if you do tie up the limb, there's a chance you might cause more permanent damage to the affected limb if you kind of concentrate that venom to a smaller area. Ideally, if you let the, you know, the venom kind of do its thing throughout the whole body, it more or less dilutes it to an extent. On a baby rattlesnake, they have about um, two tic tac size venom glands that are able to produce uh, venom, and so two Tic Tacs worth of venom versus an adult rattlesnake that's about maybe two Tic Tacs m and M's worth of venom. Dicter Dr. Nicklaus Brandyhoff, that is, of Enlo Medical Center, says even if an adult rattlesnake excretes only a quarter of its venom, it would still be more than what a baby rattlesnake can inject. Now, the experts also tell me that you should get treatment within an hour after getting bitten. And also, uh, they tell me that that treatment includes anti-venom and pain medication. I'll break down the full treatment plan that Enlo offers its patients at 6. Reporting live in Chico. I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thanks, Ryan. Stay safe out there. Dr. Nicholas Brandyhoff says there are about 9,000 rattlesnake bites in the U.S. every year, but only three to five people actually die from them.